Adrian from the UK says, I have a problem with dead skin, don't we all? So sometimes I've, I have a wound, I have, uh, we got fly, I have something here that is dead in my elbows, in my knees, uh, in my foot. So when I perform wudu or ghusl, do I have to peel it off? The answer is no. This is part of your body. This is not a layer of paint that you have brought upon yourself. This is not cement. This is not something that would impact your wudu. This is part of your body. This is your skin. So washing it externally, that does the job, inshallah. And by the way, it's the same question with Faizan, uh, who has eczema, and he has a, a, a cut. And if you bend the cut, the wound is a little bit deep. So when he puts the cream on it, once he wants to wash the cream off for wudu, externally it's done. But to go inside and deep in washing it, Akhi, who said that you need to go deep? You have to just wash the surface. If there's a cut and it's deep, you don't have to wash, it, wash inside it. I'll give you another example. Women have earrings. So if they take their earrings, there's a small hole. So are they allowed or supposed to open it and get water in it? No. Who said this? There's no need at all for such extremism. Just wash the external part and this does the job for you. Insha'Allah.